All right, guys. Um, Krabi 2004 again. Um, this time again, a test server footage. It's for it's a preview for uh, the patch level 0.7.5. I'm driving the E50M again. And uh, but the whole thing is about the new map, which is called Serene Coast. And I thought I bring you uh, some footage about this new map that is about to be patched in into the game. I actually do enjoy it. I played it twice so far and it's really nice to play. I mean uh, doesn't matter the playstyle that you uh, pull off like more of a camper like I, I am doing here and supporting the uh, our troops that are attacking or um, if you are an attacker you know there's lots of cover it's, um, there's um, generally speaking um, there is a little bit for everyone. What I find quite uh, interesting is if you look in the on the center part of the map in the east there's a artillery based on that wee island uh, which I think makes it very interesting because um, the 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 shooting ang uh, angle of for the artillery from that map is pretty um, you need to get used to it because they you fight you fight south to north or north to south and you get the shells from east to west and that is a uh, that's a very I, th I think that makes uh, makes for interesting fights um, well anyways um, I think no when you start north, what I uh, where I started, you are a little bit, you have a little advantage over the people that start south. You are faster in the, uh, you're not progressed as far uh, on the map as the guys that start south, but um, you are on the important spots, at least from what I believe. I mean. I don't know if you how you guys see that, but I think the spots that the, the players from the north occupy are more, you know, more vital to the to the to the progression of the game. Okay, that's uh, my first impressions on the map. I'd like to uh, take the opportunity to talk some about something else uh, because I have already talked about the E50M. Uh, I would like to talk about the um, the new game modes that were patched into the game with the last patch, so with 0 0.7.4. Um, I have very mixed feelings about that. Um, I would go so far to say that I find the assault game mode way uh, extremely, extremely bad. Uh, the idea is all right, but the implementation lacks thinking processes. Uh, at least that's how I see it. <coughs> Let's take Prokhorovka as a as a map. You start as an attacker on the east side excuse me on the west side and on the east side the guys are on the hill uh, they start on the hill and uh, in the middle of the map right when you cross the train uh, the, uh, the, the train uh, station um, and enter the village that's the area which you have to cap as an attacker and the guys from on the hill can really can really punish you hard for I don't know I mean, this is such a bad uh, design um, for attackers that is almost impossible. I haven't seen any attacking team winning this um, uh, because you can lock. You have in the um, in the north and in the south, and in the center you have three shock points where you can cross the train line. And this is where you have, as a defender, which you have to defend, and uh, there is no way for the attackers to cross that train line if you defend, uh, defend properly. How do you defend that? By fucking camping. And uh, this is from, I mean, this is a very personal point of view. Um, there is, 
to me there is camping and camping and I explain what I mean by that there's one camping where I uh, where you support people and move from one camp to another in order to support your progressing uh, your progressing uh, comrades or your progressing uh, troops or you know whatever you know your team is progressing and you support them from a location that uh, give, is giving support fire to keep the enemy uh, tanks suppressed that is camping that is a very valid thing to do I believe especially in this game and um, but camping for the camping sake and you know camping because um, how can I say that camping because the game mode requires to do so has something to do with cater to people that have no idea on how uh, where to shoot uh, certain tanks that have no idea on how to progress on a, uh, accordingly to what is happening on the mini map so on the battlefield so to speak and it is something that I do not appreciate and wargaming has cater to people uh, that are not willing to bring in the effort to learn something about the game to make it a little bit more interesting to everyone participating so I'm a little I'm a little bit disappointed about the assault game mode um, then there's the account uh, encounter game mode, which I, actually I do like, especially let's say on Ruinburg, where you have in the where the well is in the center of the city. There is the capping area, which both teams need to cap. That is a pretty interesting thing. Uh, I have uh, had a lot, uh, not a lot, but a handful of very very tense and uh, you know close uh, close battles, which I really do enjoy. And uh, this kind of game mode is what I was looking for, and I was I hope to have a soul changed a little bit for the better in order to make a little bit more fun. Oh well. So that was my rant about the assault game mode. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, not everyone can, uh, will like any game mode they implement. So, but I mean, if you like it, that's up to you. I don't like it. But what I would like, if you would like my video, and um, if you like, you can also subscribe to my channel in order to stay on top of WOT content. And I see you later. Goodbye.